Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to Dark Deity on Steam. With me, Jalan on at Lunar Nebula Gaming. The game takes about five gigabytes of data, just in case you wanted to know how, you know, how big it was. Uh, there was an update recently, so the developers are still very active. I think it's update 1.5. So they changed some of the classes and stuff in the game. I have still tried very hard not to delve too deep into it because I really wanted to experience the story without getting any spoilers, stuff like that. I have watched Waterbots play it for about an hour, so I know a little bit about how it begins. I do have a friend who has loved this game, so I look forward to talking with him about some of the mechanics in detail once I've uh, <laughs> done some of this game. In the meantime, let's check our options. Uh, looks pretty good so far. Grid opacity. So we can make the grid more or less visible. This is a game like Fire Emblem, where there's a grid, strategy-based. You level up your units over time, you can make them get new classes and stuff, all that jazz. Uh, let's see, Mortal, for those who prefer to have an easier time with strategy elements. Okay, also I should mention, the game is $24.99 at the moment, and they do also sell their soundtrack. Hmm. Golden experience are tuned up while enemy aptitudes are scaled down. So I think that means enemies won't level as well as you? I'm not sure. Experience golden aptitudes set to their regular levels. The intended mode of play for most players. I will probably do this one. Deity. For veteran players looking for a high degree of difficulty, golden experience are tuned down while enemy aptitudes are scaled up. Nope. We're, uh, we're going to play it as intended. And you can customize the campaign in the bottom right there. All right. It is said that in the Age of Ascension, the gods walked among mortals, and mortals among the gods. That a great empire spread itself thin across the known world, conquering land after land with its superior technology and magic. That the people of Terrazeo came together in peace. Little is left from that time, swept away in a deadly cataclysm known as the Calamity. Thousands of years later, all that remains of life before the Calamity are ancient temples to the gods and the divine artifacts contained therein. It is the year 1105 in the Imperial Calendar. The Kingdom of Delia lies in the heart of Edlin, a nation that has long thrived off of continental trade and lush farmlands. Though peace had reigned for over 25 years, Delia's king now sets his eyes on an enemy of his own construction. King Varric Valdestar assumed the throne a decade ago, on the day his father, Fasil, was assassinated by unknown parties. To this day, Varric is convinced that the assassins were sent by the Arramoran royal family. To this day, it remains unproven. Following a minor border dispute that normally would reach resolution painlessly, King Varric resolved to attain his revenge. After sending a covert Delian force to burn the Aramoran city of Alaris to the ground, Varric and his thirst to revenge have plunged his kingdom into a war it is ill-prepared for. Pressed for more troops, King Varric must make hard decisions. He looks now to Brookstead, the site of Delia's most prestigious officer academy. Each year, its graduating class bolsters Delia's forces, a pact and tradition that has lasted a millennium. The young king believes the solution to his troop issues lies in a new path. He intends to recruit not only the graduate year, but every student currently enrolled. In quiet Brookstead, students have worked hard all year to stand out among their peers. The Academy trials provide an opportunity to advance in the class rank or fall behind. For many, it is the most important day of the year. Though the trials can be stressful, many agree that a life of training with such clear goals is simple, enjoyable even. Come tomorrow, they will find that life may never be so simple again. Ooh, journey afoot. Oh look, it's three statues, so there's probably three deities. At least. Maybe there's someone that's supposed to be in that little spotlight there? Yeah, maybe. Oh, hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. Ah, okay. Start one. There we go. So I'm getting used to the controls. You can play with the controller, by the way. Irving, what do you think Galen's got brewed up for the trials this year? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's tailored to make our lives difficult. What? You think he'd do that just to punish us for choosing Elton? Mm. I was up at the crack of dawn hearing, no son of mine should jeopardize a mission for sentiment. Well, we couldn't pick Marin without Alvin. That was the deal. I think he just can't stomach the thought that his pride and joy might fail. <laughs> his pride and joy is standing right in front of me. <laughs> Either way, I'm right. 
Besides, Alvin is talented, even if your father doesn't see him. Right. Why don't you try convincing the Swordmaster that a 14-year-old who can't lift a training staff can best an 18-year-old graduate? There's a reason he doesn't teach conjuring. Your dad wouldn't trust a mage as far as he could throw him. Now that you mention it, I wonder how far he actually could throw Alden. I'd wager he could put a good toss in the type. Ah. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. How are you boys feeling about the big day? I'm confident we'll pass. We certainly put in the yeah. training. Of course we'll pass, but I want to break Sterling's record. Cool the forge there, oh, little man. Come on. But I'm on the best team of any first year. Mm. I think what Alvin is trying to say is that he really appreciates being on the team. Good. Now I'm going to need you to focus that appreciation, Alvin. There's a lot at stake for your sister. Right. If we win, I won't have anything to worry about when Marin leaves for the army, because I'll know she's ready. Great. Well, there goes the mood. Promise you'll focus today and give it everything you got, okay? Yeah. Promise. Let's get going. Can't miss the trial standing around for a check. Mm. If father doesn't kill me, being stuck on a team with Alden just might. Ah, oh, cool loading screen. Okay. Galen. You must be teacher man. Oh, right then. You know the rules. All non-lethal strategies to defeat your opponents are fair game. Defeat the leader of this regiment to complete the trials. You'll all recognize him. We're prepared for this. Alden, Garrick, stay close be behind. All right. If any of you take hits, I'm ready to patch you up. Can we go already? And so the trials begin. With such style and grace, I'm gonna add. Just dripping with sincerity today, aren't we, Dad? The color of the hair gives it away. All right. So, yes. I know how this will go unless I changed it. All right, we've got a mage, a healer, archer, and knight, I think. Right? Something like that. Okie dokie. All right. Warrior. Okay, ranger. Cleric. Mage. Let's do it. All right, Alden. I think we can go over here. And, ah, uh, I'm not used to using a non-controller, I should be telling. All right. So we can Arcane Blast, Force, Beam, Missiles, and so on and so forth. They have different hit percentages, so there's a chance to miss on pretty much everything. Uh, looks like Missiles is not the best. Which one is? Beam. So that only deals, what, 8 damage? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think... I think we go for Missiles or Blast. Missiles, Blast. This is, this is, okay. I fire my missiles. And you can see the little health meter and the little wonderful capsule beaker thing. So, we're gonna have Irving over here. You can take a hit, Irving. We can also push people with Irving. He's a very pushy sort, I suppose. Okay, I was thinking we could take him down, but I am wrong. Hmm. How do I go backwards? I can't. Okay. Hmm. Okay, right click maybe? Yeah, right click. There we go. Um, Garrick. You know what? Let's, what does haste do? We're learning. So, warbow, crossbow, longbow. Hmm. We don't miss with the longbow. Okay. We could do tutorials and stuff. Let's have you move down here. Ta okay. I thought I could hit with one of my weapons. Maybe if I just switch it. Oop. Oop. I'm learning. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Alright. I guess I will do this. We'll attack you. Uh, we'll use the Kodachi. Okay. Kodachi. I will not yield! Ooh, a crit? Dang. Okay, that was like a 3% chance of happening. I'll take it. And we got some support with Alden. Alright, attack. What do we want to use with you? Uh, we probably want to use the warbow, yeah. Yeah, Rick, go. Okay. So now we just need to deal with a little bit more damage. Okay, so we can use the hammer, the flail, the mace. Pickaxe. There's a chance that this KO. There we go. It was not their day. All right. And I think there are 30 characters eventually we can get and choose between. 
or among, I should say. Um, let's move Garrick closer. Attack. Let's see. Warbow. Ooh. Warbow hits just fine. I think it's our most damaging bow. Yep. So that's attack. Alright. So that happened. We can move you in. You in. Hmm. So far, we haven't really taken a hit. So maybe... I think I'll... Oh. Well. Okay. But now we can heal a little bit. Spread the XP around. Mm, we can heal. I guess... Okay, heal is more like just a spell we can use. Okay. Alright, attack. Hmm. What do we want to do? It looks like we are fast enough to use arcane missiles twice. Beam twice. Uh, okay. So yeah, hitting twice, good. We do that. Plus there's a chance we crit. Unlikely as it is. It did happen already once, though. Okay, so I will take damage here. It's not much. But it's damage. Alright. Yeah, if we wanted to be really picky about trying to get as much XP as possible, we wouldn't let our healer do more damage. Ooh, good dodge. Ooh, okay. And you saw the magical dissipation of that HP bar. It's pretty fun. Okay, let's move up here. Attack. And then, what do we want to use? Probably the short sword? Oh, I could get hit. Okay, so nothing will do... Okay, I will get hit regardless, probably. Nothing will do 10, is what I should have said. There we go. Was that really necessary? Yep. Okay. Go up here. Heal. Hmm. Doesn't matter which weapon we choose, other than if somebody attacks us, one might give us a better chance of avoiding. So we do that. Yeah. See, we don't need to have her attack to gain XP. I thought you'd never ask. So that's one thing we can think about. Hmm. So we could KO with you. Alternatively, let me think about this. It looks like we're good against these bows. That against that mage. If that triangle makes sense, which, you know, maybe. Maybe we'll figure it out. Hmm. We have a 100% chance to hit. Shortbow has a chance to double and crit, so, you know what? We try. Try to crit. Looks like a crit with our warrior was just hitting twice. Uh, you can go up here. This is probably risky. I usually risk far too much in these things. Uh, so yes, we do our king missiles twice. Very good chance of killing even if we miss that 4%. If you've played XCOM or Fire Emblem, you know it can happen. Okay, good work, Garrick. Alright. Wow, they are all attacking Garrick. Good dodge, though. And then we really need to heal Garrick. Alright. And this is why How we can suck. I help? Heal. We've got you. Alright. And then we have you, Irving, go up here. Attack. Oh yeah, a short sword will do fine. There we go. How did you do that? Irving levels, and I think it's random. My sword grows lighter with every swing. Which stats we get? Not sure. Alright then. Hmm. Oh, we can zoom in and out. Are you uh, sure? I am learning. Let's see, let's move. Hmm. It would be nice to see enemy range Y. Ah, uh, there we go. So you can do that. Okay. So it's safe to go everywhere that isn't red. So we do that. And thought. I probably should have used haste. Hmm. Just to see what it did. Okay, an enemy commander is someone we know. I believe this is Irving's brother. Just by the hair color, if nothing else. Heal. 
we do that, good. We almost have several people to level 2 now. That yellow bar underneath, the level and HP. And the bottom left is very useful for that. Um, am I bad against the mage? Let's see. Arcane missiles. Beam twice. Interesting. But yeah, I'm trying to see if there's like some difference in the magic system. Like in Fire Emblem, you have Anima and Holy and Dark Magic generally. But, hmm. Okay, so not that I can see. Okay, that's 12 damage from our missiles. Alright. Here we go. A little dumb sending our mage in, but man, he is an invasive boy. That is for sure. Alright, Garrick. You can clean up the mess. Ah, if you actually go there. Alright. Attack. What do we want to use? Hmm. Looks like we actually have a better chance of avoiding things with our crossbow. So, yeah. Alright. Level twos. Received a blood orb. Okay, Garrick. Thank you for meeting my expectations. Alright then. Hmm. Together. Irving. We can't push anybody. We can trade with people we are next to. Okay. Alright, they're just waiting for me to get there. Little brother, certainly you don't think you can take me on. Sterling, you're going down. Alright then. We have set it. Thus this must happen. Eventually. Now if I wanted to be smart, I would have Garrick and Alden attack first. Right. Hmm. Smart. Yes. Something I am. Sometimes. Okay. Crossbow, longbow, shortbow still. Okay. So we could try to crit, or we could board bow. To war with us. There we go. I would take it. You can still heal, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Free XP. All right then. My hard work is paying off. Yeah, that was a good level up. Good work, man. Good work. All right, you. We have the options of not using other things at the moment. Yeah, okay. Longsword. Boink. There we go. Trying to get our tank to level up so then maybe we can turn him into like a cavalier or something later. If it's anything like Fire Emblem, that would be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, Arcane Missiles just seems better than Beam. Why would I use Beam? Huh, it's pretty much always better. Okay. Crit, 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 crit. Oh. No. Oh. At least we tried it. The enemy fails. It's probably gonna attack. No, no, no. I know. Boink. Yeah. Everybody reaches level two. I've got a lot to learn. Now one thing I heard from my friend is that Alden pretty much always reaches his speed cap. I don't know if that's just a very good growth rate for him or what. So that might be something we don't worry about. But I think you need speed plus five to double in this game, like original Fire Emblem. And we still haven't used haste. So far it hasn't mattered. Hmm. 14 with my longbow. 19 with my warbow, though. Okay. There we go. Garrick, good work. We can have Alden level. We can have our warrior level. You know what? I think we Alden. Majory is always fun. And one tier one token. I think that's for promotions later on. Stage clear. Achievement unlocked. Early graduation. I I and thank you, sir. May I have another? Huh. Don't know what that achievement's for. All right, turns taken, seven. Gold acquired, 580. Map tokens. Alvin was in the... Uh, not as much damage as Garrick, though, interestingly enough. And they also took more damage than Irving. <coughs> Maybe my fault. Maybe, you know, Alden got more hits in, though. Dodge twice. 
You didn't travel as far as Mary. Okay, then. Look at this planet. It's beautiful. Not bad, little brother. You and your friends put up quite a fight. I'm glad to hear it. By Vosh, you've all grown. That was quite the thrill. A thrill indeed. Surprised, father? Congratulations, son. All of you should be very proud of what you accomplished today. You especially, Baron. Thank you, Master Galen. And now that you've had your thrill, Commander, I believe some kind of explanation is in order. Of course, as I promised. Brother, friends, if you'll excuse us. Forgive me if I've hardened in my years, Sterling, but I don't expect this is a nostalgic visit. Unfortunately not, sir. You were never one to live in the past. Always onwards and upwards. Tell me, how goes the war effort? At the moment, our prospects are grim. In fact, that's what brings me here. I see. Come to size up our latest graduates? Not quite. The King plans to recruit the entire academy. Naturally, there's no finer school to supply your ranks. Though I hope to see the war's end well before our youngest graduate. Actually, I'm afraid he wants them now, sir. All of them. Is that so? Well, I didn't think he had the goal. Tell me, Commander, what plans does our King have in mind for the Initiates? Perhaps four together could load a catapult? I wish I could say. Hmm. Always a man of duty. The King is foolish to sever the pact. His father would not have heard of it. Fasil was a good man. With all due respect, sir, what better way to avenge his father than to join the ranks of those bringing justice to our horde? Guard your suspicions, Commander, and do not speak so eagerly of war. If the King wishes it, he shall have his soldiers. I only hope you, of all people, understand the gravity of this decision. All too well. Desperate defense. Okay. Ooh. Wait, load safe slot? No. Select safe slot, right? Hmm. I'm gonna say yes and hope it doesn't take me back to the beginning. Okay, good. I think it means save. Alright. This graduating class is one of the finest cohorts I've had the pleasure of teaching my decade as headmaster. At every opportunity, you have shown the resolve and dedication that allows Brookstead to endure. And I have every confidence that the classes to follow would do the same. I regret that I must conclude this graduation ceremony with grim news. We've received orders from King Beric himself. Every student enrolled at Brookstead Academy is to be conscripted into the Delian army, effective immediately. I understand that for most of you, graduation felt a lifetime away. I stood where you did once. I know how you must feel. At the conclusion of this speech, you will all be graduates of Brookstead Academy. Outside these walls, you will be expected to exemplify our honor and our code. Life takes much from us, yet Brookstead still stands. You will have each other to lean on, and I cannot stress enough how important it will be to do so. I'm told you have three hours to prepare. Let Terrazale know that there is nothing that can stain the legacy of our town. Not quite the homecoming you imagined, I take it. How is this fair? How could the king do this? Easily, it would seem. He cares not for convention, regardless of its legacy or importance. It seems he'll stop at nothing to avenge his father. Ah, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce Lincoln and Bianca. They're the leaders of this conscription tour, as well as good friends. Nice to meet you. Sterling's told us a lot about all of you. I thought you occupied the highest military rank in Delia. Why wouldn't you be heading the operation? I must return to Sojourn. I only came because if the king had sent anyone else, Galen might have beheaded them. You didn't come to see us? It's wonderful to see you, but I'm not afforded such luxuries in wartime. Mm. You're leaving then? I'm afraid so. I'll see you when you arrive in Sojourn. I can make excuses there to take a few hours off. Ill news aside, I'm glad you came. I can't put to words how much even this flawed trip meant to me. I really should be going, but you can trust Bianca and Lincoln with anything. And Irving, be sure to see Mother before yes. you go. I will. See you in Sojourn. I like the voice acting. It's just like a little bit of a... little bit of an accent to everything. Irving, I'm glad you're home. How did the trials go? We did quite well. Sterling was there, actually. <laughs> was he? And too busy to stop by and say hello to his mother, I it's imagine? It's not that simple. In fairness, he wasn't here for long. And not with great news, either. Mother, oh, I... Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Barracks recruited the Academy. <laughs> what? How did you find out already? Word spreads fast in a place like this. I heard it from the town crier on the way back from the market. Ah, well, then I guess you know I'll be Irving. leaving. Oh, Irving. I 
I've already given you one of my sons to Barracks War. Is it ever enough? We knew this day would come when I entered the Academy. Of course, but not so soon. Well, I suppose it's never easy. You must take care of yourself on the road, and your friends. Don't worry. I'll be fine, Mother. With all the effort the King's putting into the war, it'll be over before you know it, and I'll be right back in Brookstead. War is rarely so simple in my experience, but I hope you're right. I'll miss you terribly, you know. I know. I'll miss you too. Well, I'll grab my things. Right, before you go, let me prepare some provisions for you. I'll leave them on the kitchen table. Oh, and don't forget your running shoes. Wait, can we run like in Pokemon? After passing the Brookstead Trials, a day of celebration becomes one of separation for many. Having expected to graduate in due time, the Academy students now must quickly say goodbye to their families. Sterling heads back to Sojourn, leaving the contingent in the care of Lincoln and Bianca. The contingent heads for Duskwater, a backwater town to the southeast. Lincoln hopes to fill the rest of their recruiting quota there. Okay. Good man. Your service to the Crown will bring your family honor. Now it would seem our charter requires two more brave souls. Come, good people. Your king has called. Who will answer? I've got four mouths to feed. Aaron's not old enough to look after the farm. My leg's not what it used to be, though I suppose I have a few good years left in me. <laughs> Should I do it, Eli? I wager I'd look good with a big old hammer. Choose your next words carefully, Sia. You have a good life here. Willing service brings more honor than forced conscription. I pray it doesn't come to that. Don't know much about honor, but I can smell adventure when I see it. Sign me up, Captain. And I with her. Fortune favors us today. I thank you both for your courage. Just one catch. I gotta swing by the tavern and let the matron know I'll be taking a long vacation. Wouldn't want her to find out the hard way she's out her favorite barmaid. Right away. Very well. Irving, take your friends and accompany our newest recruits to the tavern. Bianca and I will finish up here. Secure what provisions you can. We have a long road ahead of us. Yes, sir. Okay, then. Just gotta grab my things from upstairs. Be down before you can say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> Alright. You prefer to travel light? Yes. Excessive equipment is an occupational hazard. Name's Elias, by the way. The two of you got a lot of guts signing up like you did. The two of us, right. Try overwhelming bravado and lack of brains for my impressionable friend. I would never let her do this sort of thing alone. No kidding. To be honest with you, Elias, it sounds like anyone would have an impossible time to uh, stop her. I wish that weren't true. You've never met a barmaid so bullheaded. <laughs> oh, I think I have. Bandits in the streets! They're headed for the inn! Black Abyss, we just left home and we're already in the thick of it. Where's that new recruit? I said I'd be ready. Good. Prepare yourselves. Looks like we'll see combat sooner than we thought. We'll have to hold out until Lincoln and Bianca can get to us. All right, dear villain. We're entering the next chapter. Though, honestly, I think I'll save it and call it here. So leave a like if you've been enjoying Dark Deity. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on uh, which classes you think Elias and Sia will be. I'm pretty sure we can tell from their equipment right here. Spearman. Oh, Adept. Okay. In a row. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Comment below on who you think will make the final cut to the team. Oh, he's actually a level higher. Hmm. So we need to try to level up other people. Okay, then. I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.